I'm sitting here in my Corrado, and now that it's been running great after the uh, head gasket has been replaced and the car's been running well, I want to quickly check the health of the G60 uh, supercharger. I haven't mounted a proper mechanical um, boost gauge, so I'm going to use the onboard uh, like multi-function readout um, that these cars had kind of embedded in them, and it's called the MFA. If you look at the stock here, you'll see this little MFA button, and there's these two positions. And generally speaking, what they do is they basically enable readouts on the LCD screen that's currently reading the time. I say normally when you put the car in the on position and fire it up, the way the MFA normally works is you have the position there too. And now I can use this little select button at the end of the stock and cycle through some different readouts. So it gives me a miles per gallon readout. If I hit it again, it's like an odometer, trip meter rather. Um, I think that's average speed, uh, oil temperature once it comes up, um, external temperature, so on and so forth, back to time. So there are actually extra readings that are available, but you have to kind of go through a little special process to enable that. So what I'm going to do is turn the car off. I'm going to put the key in the on position, which you could see back there, okay? So we're in the on position. It's playing its little chime. Okay, I'm going to put the MFA in position two, right? That's position one, that's position two, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to depress the select button, turn the ignition off, and then start the car all while, all while keeping the select button in. Then I'm going to release the select button and then I'll press it to get to the specific uh, item I want on the gauge there. I am going to put my camera down because I need two hands to do this. Okay, so the process again is ignition is in the on position, select button depressed, okay. I'm holding it. We're gonna go ignition off, so back towards me. And then I'm going to start the car while I'm still holding it. And now I'm releasing it and you'll see like this C10 reading here, and I'm gonna hit it one more time, and see this is actually correlates to boost. So we're in the 600 range. Um, while idling, it should fluctuate between 550 and 650, so this is perfect. But I'm going to overlay on the screen right now what the readings mean and how they correlate to uh, boost and what's healthy for uh, a G ladder, a stock G ladder, and what is not. So I'm gonna let the car come up to temp and basically go drive on, drive it and bring it up to red line. And hopefully, you know, a perfect healthy G ladder on a standard pulley, it should get, this number should go up to 1800 and we'll see how close we get to that. I'm not expecting it, um, cause I really haven't done anything from a vacuum leak point of view. And I'm just assuming the seals and items on this supercharger are tired and do need rebuilding uh, at some point. So let's see what we get. So again, I think I saw, I was kind of watching the road, but I think I saw it peak at like 1470, which is kind of what I was expecting, which is, you know, a supercharger that needs, needs some love and needs some work. But uh, there again, it was like 1460, I think, or something like that. So that makes sense. Like I said, a, a healthy, perfect supercharger, that number should go up to 1800. Um, and then it just steps down from there um, from a boost point of view. So I guess, uh, you know, like a 1400 is somewhere probably, you know, six, seven PSI. When I put in a proper, um, when I put in a more accurate mechanical gauge, um, it'll be interesting to see what I get. But now I know what I'm dealing with, right? So the supercharger is definitely not putting out the kind of boost it should be or is capable of producing. Um, so we will get the seals all replaced in it. But, um, that's how you use your 
MFA to uh, kind of calculate your boost in your health of your uh, supercharger on your Corrado G60.